What I'd really like to be doing right now is working on the track bed that I started work on on Thursday. But, and it's a big but, and I don't like big butts, there's nothing else I can realistically do until the mortar's down underneath those bricks. And I can't really put mortar down because it's only about one degree out here. It's actually snowing, although it's not settling. It's pathetic. Celestial dandruff. So last night I very diligently began to plan my day and I went on the B&Q website to check out their prices for treated timber and decking and that sort of thing. And I noticed the decking boards I wanted to use were down to just over £3 if you reserved for collection on the B&Q website. So I thought, well hey, I'll do that. It wouldn't let me have the stuff till Sunday, so I had to cancel that. And then before a YouTube video I was going to watch, I spotted this silly advert. Now, you might have seen the one, there's a hand telling you about tricksy prices and dodgy prices. They don't mention sky high prices, because B&Q you do have a bit of a problem with that, you know. Whenever I go to buy tools, I check out the price in B&Q and then I go somewhere else and it's usually about half. Some of their products are really marked up, really ridiculously marked up and it, it gets on my nerves. So stop going on about how wonderful your prices are B&Q because your prices stink. And by the way, I got all my timber from Wix, although I did have to buy some stuff from B&Q as well. And the hammer that I thought was really overpriced was also the same price in Wix. I spent most of my morning shopping for materials in the end, which didn't please me much. I've decided, instead of using decking board, I'm just going to use treated sawn timber. I need to widen it slightly, but I can just put boards you know, next to each other, it's quite easy. I see no point in buying uh, expensive materials to do this one, they're just going to be covered in roofing felt. I've got this 19 by 32 stuff for just building a frame underneath it to keep it strong and stop it bowing. And this stuff is 25 by 38 I'm going to use it to make stakes to bang into the ground and support the board. I'm really aware that quite often people over-engineer this sort of stuff. Really what they're doing is, is quite a light duty. Of course the only thing with holding this, it does make me feel a little bit like Gandalf. You shall not pass! This is an old scrap bit of roofing felt. You can see that it does look a little bit like railway ballast, you know, the stones that go under the track. It's very common for people when they use raised track beds in their garden to use roofing felt. The only thing is, when you get that surface up and you want to put the felt on, you have to use bitumen to seal it and stick it down. And guess what? You can't use that under 5 degrees either. I don't know if maybe I'm kidding myself, but I keep thinking the weather is going to improve. I suppose it is still February, but it just feels like it's really, really close to March now. It really, really ought to be a bit warmer and a bit brighter.